Welcome to the Spiritual Development Channel. I am Nasi Ashiva, and this is my special guest host, Ahavia. We call her Javi Bear. What do you got to tell the people, Javi Bear? I just want to say, <laughs> make sure you subscribe, share, and like. Okay, thank you, thank you. All right, appreciate you. All right, today's lesson is Samson and Melanin. So, let's get directly into it. Shimshon is the Hebrew word for Samson. This means sun child or solar energy or from the sun. Sun child or solar energy. Now, children of the sun was an ancient belief of the ancient societies. They believed that highly melanated people were children of the sun. Not because they actually came from the sun, but they were in places where the sun was extremely hot and spent longer times in the air. So now, when melanated people are not in hot places or places where the sun is extremely hot, then they actually become vitamin D deficient. So this is something that we have to practice as people, melanated people, is getting more sunlight. All right, Samson was a Nazarite, forbidden to drink strong drink or anything from the vine. And we're going to touch on that later, why? But we are microcosms of the universe. A microcosm means there's a small reflection of something that's even greater. So we are reflections of the divine things in the universe. So we have to understand this when we listen to the story of Samson, the solar energy or the sun. Now, in the Bible, things have physical and metaphysical meanings. So Samson physically represents the sun, right? Metaphysically, the sun, in ancient beliefs, represents universal consciousness. Physically, the sun has seven rays of light light. Metaphysically and spiritually, we have seven lights that we call chakras. And in the story, Samson has seven locks. All right, I'm going to get into the hair, the locks of Samson. Ancients believe in the power of the hair. The hair contains water, lipids, traces of minerals, melanin, and carotene, right? Melanin. Melanin known, is known as the God particle, and we'll go why that is known as the God particle. It plays a major role in synthesizing DNT. It helps bring together things to make DNT, and what we spoke about in one of our other videos is DNT is what brings you into total oneness with the universe. It's like a hallucinogen. It's like you see in another realm, another dimension. It brings you closer into the oneness of God. That's why it's called a God particle. The pineal gland produces two melanin derivative hormones, serotonin and melatonin. In our, one of our prior videos, we spoke about what serotonin does. Serotonin is the one, is the, is the, is the, the secretion that makes you feel at peace, makes you feel tranquil. Where melatonin is the secretion that makes you feel or gives you your circadian rhythms and heals your body from mitochondrial damage that's given that stops you from aging. Now, I put a special star by this because you're probably wondering, Nasi, what's the difference between melanin and melatonin? All right. One is a hormone. Melatonin is a hormone. And you'll find it in, in throughout the muscles of the body. And it's secreted through the body to make you feel a certain way. And the other one, melanin, is a protein and what it does is stores and absorbs energy for usage well we'll get into that there are three types of melanin neuromelanin eumelanin and pheomelanin all right so the difference the neuromelanin is found in your brain neuromelanin is found in your brain and your nervous system eumelanin is what it says you means good melanin it's rich melanin. Pheomelanin is a dim melanin, a deficient melanin. So all animals have melanin in them. And you know, people say, white people don't have melanin. This is not true. That's not true at all. All right. So the eumelanin is found in your people of color. It is 0 to 1% sulfuric. And pheomelanin, it's more salty, contains 9 to 12% sulfuric acid. 
this new melanin actually does well with, they say blocking, but it actually absorbs the sun's energy and stores it and absorbs also sound waves. So it empowers the person where fear melanin does not do good at all with absorbing melanin. And people with fear melanin usually have yellowish or pinkish skin, blonde hair, blue eyes, or green eyes. So the fear melanin. All right? So alcohol, as a NASA right, you can't consume strong drink. And our sages knew that. Alcohol and strong drink weakens the pineal gland, what produces the particle or the elements that makes you closer to God. Right? So let's think about this. This is wonderful that our sages knew all of this. And they're teaching this in a way that's so poetic that we sometimes don't embrace because we're so focused on the platonic way of thinking. Like Plato taught us that everything has to be literal. And we don't take the poetic aspect of the Bible. All right. Now, to go back with Samson representing the sun, we go into the story where he makes a riddle and he gives a riddle. And when people discover his riddle or solve his riddle, he collects 300 foxes, tie the tails together, and send them out and fills the burn everything up because he was angry. All right. 300 foxes. Foxes symbolizes solar flares. Flares from the sun. Rays, flares, beaming down, right? 300. It's the consciousness to let you know that God is behind or representing God is extremely with you. He is with you, and even if you're doing right or wrong, God's presence still is there. And it could be either to destroy you or to lift you up. So now you got Samson, solar flares, destroying crops and the earth. Keep that in mind. Samson and the riddle of the lion and honey and how I solved it. Now, you say he solved it. It was solved in the own book. It wasn't solved. It was answered. The question was answered, but the true meaning of the metaphysical meaning of the riddle was never answered until now. All right? Samson represents the sun. Samson killed the lion. He came back. The lion was filled with bees, and he took the honey out of the carcass of the lion and ate it. Think about that. So he went somewhere, came back. So the sun made a circuit, but when it made a circuit, it made it through a lion. That lion represents Leo. And what you'll find about Leo is during the time of Leo, the sun is at its hottest, and what it does is releases these foxes. Its flares destroys the crops of its natural minerals and nutrients. So a lot of our crops are destroyed and don't have the nutrients they need to nourish our bodies. So what do we do? We extract or eat honey because honey has all the essential nutrients humans need to exist. So during the time of Leo, when our crops are being beaten up, and destroyed, we have to take in honey to restore us and give us the nutrients that we need, especially in them times. All right, so let's keep it moving. So we went over some of this stuff, and it's all aligning. It shows all the beauty and why the sages and, and the Nazarites couldn't cut their hair because there was so much power in their hair because it contained this melanin and so do other parts of your body but your hair was seen as antenna to God but it's going back and forth and playing on the metaphysical and the physical Samson and Delilah all right Samson is sunlight and Delilah the Hebrew word Lila means night what destroys the sun night but also, when we're in our ego, which the sun represents, we have a level of arrogance that destroys us, but we are destroyed by our eyesight and things that we lust after. Samson becomes blind and reconnects with God. So, think about it. Samson was told not to cut his hair. 
Delilah begged him for the secret of his strength. The secret of the strength that Samson was not cutting his hair. When she found out the secret, she shard his hair. But why would Samson tell his secret if he knew he would lose his strength? Well, just like many humans and just like the people with you, Melanin, we forgot the source of our power and started believing so much in ourselves that we became blind. But in this blindness, we reconnect with God because when they took out Samson's physical eyes, there was an eye still left. And that is the pineal gland. That third eye. And you don't lust or sin because of things that you see, but you focus more on things that are, may not be tangible and you understand and believe in a higher power because all your senses are heightened now. And numbers, when the princes of Israel come and they bring their blessings and their offerings, one of the princes' names was Naphtali ben Akira ben Ayin. Naphtali, I wrestled, speaking about I wrestled with God. My brother is evil. So we're wrestling with God. My brother is evil ben because or from his eyes. Meaning that his sin and his struggle is coming before or from his eyes. So we are taught to live in faith and not by sight. Because as melanated people, our strength is in the higher power. Something greater than us. And at the end of the son's life, he destroyed 3,000 men. And remember, he tied 300 foxes. So three means mind, body, and soul. It's talking about the unity, the universal consciousness that one has, that DMT being produced, that pineal gland is working higher. So now he has universal consciousness. Everything is coming together. And since 300, the three represents the trinity of the mind, body, and soul, the extra numbers increase the power of it. So now it's at 300 before, and now it's completely at 3,000 because he is completely going back into the essence of God. Because we as people believed in ourselves so much that we forgot who God was and we lost our power. We lost our consciousness, our universal consciousness. And that is the lesson of Samson and Melody. Thank you.